Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures, and I thought I'd give you a look at the dining room with the lights on in the daylight, although it's not very sunny outside. I filmed this at night with candlelight, but maybe you want to see it in better detail with the light. And I've also got just stuff <laughs> randomly tucked in. Oh, and you probably didn't see that when it was dark, but the slug is up there. It's Sunday night, and I'm making all sorts of food for the week. Chicken, rice soup for the kids, some roasted vegetables. And then we had some steaks left over, so my husband grilled those. So it was a very nice Sunday dinner. For dinner tonight, I made tacos, so it's just ground beef. Um, I've got some tomatoes and onions under there, some sauteed peppers and onions. I put a little bit of lime and um, avocado. I didn't have cilantro. I didn't, well, that's the main thing that I would have liked to have. And um, I don't like cheese and lettuce on mine, so but I have cheese and lettuce for everybody else. We're here in the living room and I didn't change too much for Halloween um, from the fall display. This will have the insects. But I did add this piece. And then in the trophy, I put the jack-o'-lanterns and just some draped um, beads, kind of look like dew on a spider web to create a little bit of height. And these were framed. I picked them up at a yard sale and then I just took them out and put them in a different frame. I've been slacking on my Halloween movie watching, so I'm watching Rocky Horror Picture Show right now. And here's what I've done for Halloween on the mantle. I pulled out all of my candlesticks and I'll probably leave them out through Christmas. We'll see. A lot of this stuff I already had up for fall. So probably the only big change is that I just pulled out my paper mache jack-o'-lantern, and I have these mercury glass candlesticks that I put in the vase. I do have candles that I uh, can put into the candlesticks, and they're on a battery uh, power and they flicker. They just take a lot of time to put the batteries in, and I just don't feel like doing that. <laughs> so if I was having a Halloween party, I would definitely use that as decor, but I'm not. <laughs> Since it's nearing the very end of October, I made a pot of chili for dinner. Haven't had that in a while. And it's been a gray day outside, so it's, uh, yeah, just kind of adding to the atmosphere of the day. And actually, I think it just started raining. Yeah, a gray day. Nice weather, though, I mean, temperature-wise. And my husband was out chopping wood earlier. I think he's put it all away. I've sat down at my desk and I'm going through some of my bits and bobs and I'm de-stashing some things, just being honest about what I have and if I really think I'm going to create something with them. And the nice thing is I could just de-stash it to my classroom and then later if I change my mind, it's there and I can use it. And if a student uses it before me, wonderful. So what I'm doing right now is I'm making the little bees and... I was thinking about um, a black bead for the head, but then I found this multi rhinestone one. And I put that on, and now I'm thinking about, do I wanna add another bead here? I also wanna look online and see if I can get what I would call like a hat pin stick, where there'd be like a round disc with a pin already attached, because I feel like that would just allow you to take any bead, any brooch, glue it to it and be able to stick it in a vase and, and I mean, just do dozens and dozens to display your collections. This one here, I've used a button and put that on top. I've kept the clip on the back of this one and it was just kind of hooked here And I don't know, I don't know if I want to attach that and put a piece of fabric through here. I'm not exactly sure, I guess maybe these were a shoe clip. I can't remember if I took the clip off or if that's just how it was. 
So I'm not quite sure what I want to do. I know I had the beehive that I said I'd attach those to. We'll see. But every time I look at this, I see a skull. I see eyes and kind of like a nose and teeth. So that's just what I have out on my desk right now. And then I got this pin and I had said I thought it looked like a tree skirt. So this, I don't think this um, one would be big enough. I'd probably go for something a little bit taller and bigger, but that was what I was thinking of. And as I went into a box to find that to share with you, I have this little snowman. And uh, someone had also said that would really hold an, an egg well, like an Easter egg. So true. And that fits perfectly there. He sits on his own though, but some, some round things need a little help. And I thought, wouldn't that be pretty in a room where you displayed Christmas and your little dressing room? So if I ever find one like that again, a big one with a circle, I will definitely pick it up because now I've got a good use for it. So now I need to stick these Christmas things away. I've also, um, oh, I've been so busy. And I, it was Sunday and I actually had to work today. Um, but it's just nice to sit down and then I'm trying to catch up on all the vlogtobers and videos. I'm very proud of myself. I've organized and used a lot of things. I have a few projects here, but I kept seeing the same stuff over and over again. And um, it's 7.35, I haven't had chili yet. I've just been kind of in the groove. <laughs> so I've stopped now, um, even though I didn't want to. And in my chili, I've never had cilantro, but I definitely like those like uh, taco seasonings. I'm going to do sour cream and I picked up lime because I'm going to make guacamole for a frightening food festival on Wednesday with the art club and the people at school. So I have a lot of these ingredients on hand. So I'm just going to add it. I am very excited for that. So I need to rework this sculpture I did. So she was on an upside down candlestick and something about the balance just never worked. She'd stay up good until like you, you close the door kind of hard and then she'd always fall over. So I took her off and there was a little cat that I made to go with her. So I need a new base. But I found this at Savers probably two years ago. It's like a little ashtray set, but it looks like a cauldron. The one ashtray does not have that little bar in there, but this one does. So that actually allows her to not fall over, but then you don't get to see her cute shoes. So I just have her in that, and I've had these for so long and haven't done anything with them. So whatever base I find, I think I definitely want that there. So she is currently a work in progress, but I still have her out here on display. Whenever you make something, um, like as an artist, I think there's pieces that you, you know, think are okay, pieces you don't like, and then pieces that, like just everything kind of fell into place. And she was one of them. I just really like her. Now the, I, you know, I'm having to change her a bit because the base just wasn't sturdy. But I was always happy with that one. Her and my Medusa. I'm really happy with my Medusa as well. This magazine arrived a few weeks ago and I, I haven't had a chance to look through it. It does say display vintage treasures. And it is nice to look at these magazines before you go out thrifting. So you can make a little list of things that you want to be on the lookout for. So the price on this says $12.99. But I subscribe on Amazon. And they do four a year, one for each season, and it's only $20. So that means each magazine is five, and five is a lot better than 13. And I really enjoy the pictures in this magazine. And uh, I like to, like to take the time to really um, look at these. And I, I love this. I love having rosemary around um, the holiday season. And that's pretty in those little crocks. I don't have enough light in my kitchen to keep anything alive. So I actually grow it outside. And it's great to pick in the wintertime um, a little bit of like seltzer water, like lime seltzer water, maybe a splash of cranberry or that cranberry ginger ale, and then add um, just a little sprig of the rosemary. Really fresh, different drink for the holidays. 
And then I did something similar to this. You can see these vintage linens that they've turned into mini stockings and they're doing it like a Christmas countdown. But I made them as utensil holders for Christmas and then I monogrammed initials and names on them and I put the date on. And I guess this will be the third Christmas that I'll pull them out. Um, so actually, like that, that's what I did. And I had this um, red and white tablecloth that I picked up for $5 at the thrift store and that was that was fun. I really love this page and I love the glow and sparkle on the shelves, the rustic kitchenware, and I always like to dry some oranges and display them on a tree. I just like that nostalgic feeling. And this reminds me a lot of the um, cabinet that I have in the kitchen. And I even have a tin, like a green tin like that. We're also uh, temper painting in class and I am stained. <laughs> Doesn't want to come out. Now, this was nice too. All of these sheep and some bottle brush trees. I liked the symmetry of the cloches and then the long black and white pictures. And I have a cabinet similar to this. And that's where I have um, mine on top. And just little stacks of butter pats in there. Love that. Love little stacks of dishes. This was another image. I like that lit wreath on front of this cabinet. And this almost looks like a black backdrop. It's probably not. It's probably just because it's dark. But in my cabinet, I painted the black, the background black. Oh, and I love it when people make a little bar in front of a dark picture, dark portrait, and then the um, fur. I think it's probably fur or something. I don't know. Some type of green garland hanging on top, like the little ribbon on top of that. Some fancy glasses, a poinsettia. And the person who lives in this house clearly loves arches as much as I do. So it's a cabinet, but it's got an arched detail. And then I'm sure some of these are just like repeats. Like this is the same arch, but in my um, first kitchen, we put in a black and white floor like this. I love it. And it's got an arch there. Love these little diagonal um, windows. I think that's a different one, unless it's like sitting on the um, opposite side. I don't know. I don't think it is. I wonder if that's like a butler's pantry or who knows what. I'm sure if I read the article, <laughs> I could find out. Oh, here. And like in, in a bedroom or something, maybe. Yes. Arch, arch, arch. I love it. And I like this uh, wallpaper. So there's just so many good articles in here that, I mean, I keep saying I love it. So I see some more of these little mini stockings. And this is a neat twist on the garland. It's got the oranges but they and the cranberries, but they've added cinnamon sticks, rosemary, and garlic. I mean, definitely the herbs and fruits of the season. And here is the last image. Kindness is like snow. It beautifies everything it covers. Very nice image there. So I think that'll be it. Um, I did want to say thank you to everyone um, who is new and came from uh, other channel suggestions. I hope to have a giveaway next Monday if I hit 14,000 subscribers. And um, I don't know, kind of a uh, a little ways to go. So make sure that you like or you share the video in um, the community section because uh, I would like to do a giveaway. It's for a piece of art. And if you do check the community section, you'll see the sculpture that it is. Um, and I wanted to say hello to Adele. Um, I said I'd give her a shout out in a recent video. So hi, Adele. I hope you're doing well. Um, I miss chatting with you. And I'll see all of you in another video. Bye.